Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, guys. So, guys, today's video, I have someone very special around me. She's all the way from Nigeria, and her name is... Betty Grace. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, she came to Ghana two weeks ago. No, week. about a week now. About a week now, yeah. Yes. Um, she's here visiting Ghana, you know, and then, For yeah. the first time. For the first... Wait, is this your first time living in Nigeria? No. Okay. For my first time in Ghana. In Ghana. Yeah, and so yeah, I'm gonna interview her, you know, her experience being in Ghana, you know. I'm um, so you guys stay tuned, watch the video, you know, you like the video if you like it, and then share it with your family and friends. Yeah. So yeah, uh, let's get into the video, man. So, Grace, you say you've been in Ghana for like one week now, right? Yeah, about a week. About a week. Yes. How do you find Ghana, like the Christmas festive, like, you know, the Christmas environment, the New Year environment preparation? How do you find Ghana? Um, Ghana is interesting. Ghana is interesting. I am enjoying my stay here, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a place to be, especially with the year of return. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot going on, a lot of people, you know, you get to meet different people. And I've been exploring different foods for the first time. So I'm enjoying the place. And I love the fact that it's a bit laid back and not, you know, as bubbly as I'm used to in Nigeria. So, so far so good. And the people are warm, yes. And so I'm having a good time. I'm glad I bought that ticket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you mentioned food. What's your favorite Ghanaian food? So watch it, watch it. I ate watch it yesterday, guys, and I loved it. I loved it. You know, I love beans so much. So mm -hmm. I found that watch it. There's beans in it. There's mm -hmm. um, gari. Mm -hmm. So in Nigeria, we have beans and gari, and that's my favorite food. So when I found beans and gari inside so watch it, hey, it was dope. I loved it. <laughs> Man, I loved it. I don't know why I'm like watching. Mm -hmm. Watch is like my no go, like my no go zone. What? Yeah. <laughs> my favorite is bongo and okra, guys. You all know, oh. tilapia at least. But bongo, watch it, watch it the there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so how do you find the Ghanaian people? You say they're really cool, or yeah, they're cool. Ghanaians yeah. are cool, yeah. even though we always fight, guys. Why do we always fight? Like. <laughs> Why? Why do we always fight? Yet you are so cool. Like I've been here when I say I'm Nigerian, they're like, oh wow, that's good. But then why do we fight on the internet? Tell me. <laughs> that's a good question. Why do we fight on the internet? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, nice, nice. Nice. So um how do you find the transportation system in Ghana? Like is it expensive or is it cheap compared to where you're coming from with the same prices? Guys, mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you, mm -hmm. it's expensive. Ghana? It is, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know whether it's because now it's a festive period or that's how it has always been. Mm -hmm. But I mm -hmm. find it expensive to be honest, compared to how transportation fare is in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I get to move from because I'm new in Ghana, I don't know anywhere around. I tend to go by um, Uber mm -hmm. or um, taxis and mm -hmm. stuff. So mm -hmm. when I hail a taxi and say, this is where I'm going to, and they give me, they charge me a certain amount, I expect that, okay, we are going to a far distance. And then we just maneuver a few tons and we are where I'm going. And I'm like, uh, yeah. you got this, you got this amount for just this yeah, distance. And I'm like, yes. I say, okay. Yeah. But then that's the only thing. It's I think it's expensive yeah, to me yeah. coming from Nigeria. No, not really. A lot of people have expressed that too. Yeah. But is that how it has always been, or is it because um, it's the festive period and there are a lot of. So know, recently, I've realized like, this myself. I've realized like increase in the Uber prices recently, like during this Christmas um, okay. period. Okay. Yeah, like what what used to cost like ten Ghana CDs wow. now costing like twenty. I see. Eighteen Ghana. I see. No, okay, yeah. so that's excusable. <laughs> when we leave, you 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 you. Reduce the prices. Yeah. I think this is the effect of the year of return year in Ghana. Year of return, yeah. I guess. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I guess. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about um safety. How well do you feel safe in your around there on your own, you know, trying to shoot video, visit some places? I feel safe. I won't even let you learn. Like, I feel so safe. I feel like at home in Ghana, guys. Honestly, I go on the street and except I tell somebody I'm Nigerian mm -hmm. or probably speak because of the accent, yeah. I don't think anybody thinks I'm... A foreigner, a foreigner because yeah. i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. this color yeah. it takes me anywhere so i feel safe i don't feel like i'm a target or anything okay, i'm just yeah. an african in africa and so i'm at home so, nice <laughs> yeah uh, let's talk about have you been trying like um you're like the chilling sports here in accra let's say the nightclub or like the hangouts in town 
No, not quite. Oh, not been, quite. Been, I've only been to the beach. Okay. Labadi Beach. Mm -hmm. And I had a good time, guys. I had a good time there. Man, we turned up on that day and it was fun, guys. Yeah. Because I love fun. Mm -hmm. Anywhere fun is, yeah. you find me in there. So wait, wait, I had a good time. How, how, how does it feel when you're like at a party place and then you hear them play Nigerian songs? Hey, uh, mm, <laughs> Bonner Boy, guys, listen. When I go to anywhere and I hear Bonner Boy's song come uh, up, uh, you are going to lose me. If you are talking to me, you better wait. <laughs> let me sing, let me dance, and then we'll continue. I love it, and it's, it's, it applies to all Nigerian songs. When I'm somewhere and I hear Nigerian songs play, I'm like, yes, that's Nigerian, and the beat is so different, so I can't but move, 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 you know? <laughs> <laughs> wait, it sounds like Bonner Boy is your favorite artist. Yes, he is. Oh, okay. He is. Nice, nice, nice. The best, eh? we like the best, eh? <laughs> <Be body>, eh? <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, um, wait, wait, let's talk about, you know, I'm sure you're new in Ghana, and then I'm sure a lot of Ghanaian guys have been trying to approach you, because maybe you look different from uh, the other Ghanaian guys. Really? So, I want, to, I want you to tell me, how do you, how, how do you see um, fine Ghanaian men? I think they are cool. Oh. Ghanaian men are cool. Okay. Yes, that's all I can say. They're tell cool. us a story, like, why do you say it so? <laughs> they are cool, like... They are good looking, okay. I like the way they are poised. There was this particular um, guy I hung out with um, mm -hmm. a few, I think yesterday, mm -hmm. we were in a group mm -hmm. and he was so gentlemanly, if there's a word like that, and mm -hmm. I really liked that about him, just like looking out for me, although we just met disclaimer okay. but then i love the fact that he was being so like so so much of a gentleman yeah. are you okay oh, open nice. the door for me you know nigerian men don't always do that oh <laughs> nigerian <laughs> men don't come for me i beg i beg so i say i think Ghanaian <laughs> men are more romantic yeah oh. somehow kind of at least from my experience so far he was he was a gentleman and i really liked it I see, I see. like just making sure i was okay opening the door for me and getting the seat for me and just being good and you know i liked it mm. oh, yeah. nice nice so so um let's talk about um you know life in nigeria you know what i mean you coming from nigeria life in nigeria yeah you coming from nigeria looking at ghana from a different eye uh, just a little what do you see what what like first differences did you notice you know um in the, in, the, in the two different places obviously the population guys i live in lagos lagos mm. is that's the population size in lagos about 20 million people just lagos yes just lagos hey. about 20 million <laughs> so we are so many guys we are so many so you can just imagine the chaos that happens with being that you know large mm. in terms of the um, population yes, size yeah. so the obvious thing I noticed is the population. When I got here, it's people are relaxed, less, yeah. if, fewer people compared yeah, to Lagos. So yeah. it's easy to move about, to mm -hmm. do stuff, and get things done in real time. So mm -hmm. that's yeah, because because I've I've had a similar experience. So there was a time I was in Nigeria at the airport. So the airport, I don't know Mutala. Was Mutala it? International. Yeah, Mutala yeah. Muhammad International. Exactly. Airport. So I was there. And people are busy, busy. Like, you know, movement and all that. And guys, that's so true. Lagos Airport is very busy. Yeah. Like, 247, the airport is busy. Yeah. International arrivals, departures, yeah. even the local, um, you know, local even being a, of the even, airport. Even to get a place to see this is a problem. Yes. Like, people are always, yes. like, you have to be careful. You know, we are so many. And then people traveling in and out of the country. Right. Even the domestic travels, like, yeah. to other yeah. states in the country yeah. are usually busy. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so when I get to my destination, it was in Gambia. I was like, ah, where are the people? Because I like, am coming from Nigeria. It's like, boop, boop, boop. I had that experience when I went to Beni Republic. When mm -hmm. I got there, it was like, where are the people? <laughs> where are the people? Like, can life be this easy yeah. and free? Yeah. I know it's so different when I go to other places, guys. So, yeah, yeah that's the obvious difference between Lagos and Accra. And Accra because and I'm yeah, in Accra, Accra so, so, so I can so. speak for Accra. So how, how about, is this see any similarities, something between um, Lagos and, um, and Accra? Yes, the, the similarities here is, I think Lagosians and people in Accra like to party. Like, mm. And where I'm staying here in Accra, mm -hmm. I heard it's the party hub, so yeah. a lot of partying, music and everything. And it's just, and the interesting thing, because mm -hmm. I was intrigued by the lifestyle. So mm -hmm. when I, you know, I dug deep, I like to know about African history. Yeah. So I discovered mm -hmm. that the people from Osu, where I'm staying, mm -hmm. migrated from Ileife. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And Ilefe is the Yoruba speaking part of um, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And those are the people that like to party the most in Nigeria. So I said, now I see the connect. I see why mm -hmm. these people party a lot. So that's a similarity. So the people in Osu, are they the Ga people? Yes, the Ga people. Yeah, I've, I've read that story before. Yes. Oh, okay, so they kind of relate. Yeah, okay. They came from the Lagos. Ilefe. Ilefe is in the present day or your state. Oh, your state. Or your right. state. But that is like the ancestral home of Yoruba, Yoruba people, oh, so okay. to say. Yes. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Nice. That's a good point out there. And I didn't ask you this. So people want to visit Ghana, African, a year of return, Christmas, Ghana is popping. ABMB, um, like roughly the price is like for ABMB, like single room. How, you know, you do want to share like what, what should people expect? Um, so, in terms of the prices, I think mm -hmm. because of the year of return and stuff, prices have kind of increased. And I pray it comes but, down after year of return. Yeah, I hope so. Do you know, guys, when I finally made up my mind to come to Ghana, it was almost like last minute. So when I went on Airbnb trying to look for accommodation, mm -hmm. booked, mm -hmm. booked, yeah. booked. Mm -hmm. So I finally got um, the one I'm staying in, but mm -hmm. the, the price is quite reasonable and I got a, a discount. So oh, okay. um, I think it was... A single room Airbnb. I okay. paid nine. I paid eight pounds. Mm -hmm. I paid in pounds. Okay. So I paid eight pounds per night. That's good. That's yes, good. Yes, it's it's reasonable. That's it's reasonable. Cool. But I saw um, other Airbnbs that had up to like twelve dollars mm -hmm. a night and mm -hmm. stuff. So, mm -hmm. but of course those ones were like um, room and parlor, kitchen yeah, and I stuff. You, I you, yeah, I got you. I got you. All right, guys. If wanna, if I plan to visit Ghana, you know, and you know, like this Christmas time, you know, I think her experience, what she said so far, is gonna give you like a glimpse of what's yeah. life like. Yeah, you should you come. Know? Yeah, it's a worthy cause. Like yeah. it's, it's worth coming. Yeah, it's worth, it's coming. worth every dime. Yeah, I like it in Accra, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, guys. Um, is there anything you wanna tell the people that I didn't ask you? Um, so I'm also a YouTuber, guys. Yeah, I have yeah. a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. Virtue Grace. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's been good hanging out with you here. Uh, Come check me out on Virtue Grace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so guys, I'm gonna leave um the links to her channel in the description box so you guys can go and check her out. You know, go show some love, you know. Yeah.